So today I want to look at and discuss this pair of exquisitely carved marble stat statuettes. What we have here is a Buddha and a Bodhisattva, which allows me to address the difference between the two, which is one of the questions that many people have when they come into my gallery. Here we have a Buddha. He has no adornment whatsoever. There's no jewelry. You, he has this, this series of small bumps on the head representing individual locks of hair, sort of in a stylized curls, in this case reduced to little bumps. Long earlobes, which is a mark of his Buddhahood. And the shape of the head is sort of, has a cone shape in this period, which is often in earlier and later periods depicted as a separate cranial lump, which is a mark of the Buddha, the Ushnisha. And he has a simple, although beautifully, you know, cascading folds, it's folds for the robe, but otherwise is very pure. The Bodhisattva, on the other hand, is more feminine in appearance to us and is also richly jeweled. In fact, they're both male, but deliberately sort of asexual. And in this case, you know, he, she, he's wearing a crown with a kerchief, a cloth over the head. There's a necklace here, this long strand of jewels which falls down, crosses the body, and goes around to the back. And these beautiful folds here, which are, you know, stylized in the representation. So a bodhisattva is an enlightened being, like the Buddha, but who stayed behind and instead of going to a transcendent place, nirvana, has stayed behind in order to help others on the path to enlightenment, whereas a Buddha has fully left the material plane.